Hey guys, it's Alex here, and today I've got another After Effects tutorial for you on something that I think is a very cool, uh, very original, and there's a lot of things that you can do from this. And basically what it is, is a uh, glass breaking. Uh, you probably would have seen it in my uh, montage, uh, Defiancy, um, but yeah. Um, just really nice how to recreate the glass, um, make it shatter into lots of different pieces. Also, we've got um, um, this will probably be in the second part. I will show you how to uh, make it then form text. But so basically, what I've got here, I've just got a clip of terminal where there's a lot of glass and it's all been shattered out. Um, and now I want to re try and recreate that glass. So I've just trimmed it all down, scaled it up to get away from the bars and that. But what I will do is I've actually imported all my project. So. Um, and I can't find it. Bro. There we go. Okay. So we'll drag these. So we're you in this one, aren't we? Yep. Alright, so we'll drag that into a new composition. So we just have that. First thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate it. And I'm going to hide the second layer. Because we were going to use this one for an environment. I'm going to add a uh, fast blur to it. The bottom one. Repeat the edge pixels and make it about 10. From here, I'm going to want to motion track our scene, so I'm going to right click, I'm going to use the CS6 tracker, you can use any tracker you want, and I'm just going to hit track camera. Now this will take a bit, but so I will come back once it's uh, done everything, and you just want to leave it until it's gone through all the frames. It'll be, it'll be very quick, but I will come back once that's done to save some time. Okay, so After Effects has now finished tracking, and as you can see we get all these track points nicely. Well, I hope they are sticking to our scene and now if you place your mouse over you can see we get this target and I want to match it up because we're going to be placing it on this wall here I want to try and match it up with the wall so what we can do is we can just select some points we can just drag and use the lasso I'll hold shift select some more and that looks pretty good and we can just make a null and a camera for now so now we have a 3D camera. Now I want to position all the camera up and make it looking good and uh, so we don't have to do that much adjustment when we use element. So what we can do is we can make a new solid. We can make this a 3D layer and we can type in grid. And we can just drag on a grid to our solid like so. And now you can see that that will be a 3D space like that. And we can also then make a new, uh, come on, can't get to it, new null object. And we can then parent the null and camera we made from our camera track to our null object. And now basically, you will see if we use the, if we hit, uh, we make our null 3D as well. If we hit R and then Shift and P, so we get the position and the rotation up, you can see as we position up, when we move this null, it will be affecting the camera. And we can use this to try and use the rotation and match it up with our uh, scene. So I want to try and get this looking like it is on the wall. Like so. But I think After Effects has already done quite a good job of it. And I can try and center this grid up a bit. Drag it across. And I think that's... Now it looks like it needs to go back a lot further. Uh, what we can actually do is we can um, go into our camera tracker. And where is it? There it is. And we can actually just pick a null on here and we create another null. So it's, and then we can hit P for that and see what sort of depth we're talking about. So seven. So I think we have to change that to minus like that and hopefully that now stays better in place like that. So that's now motion tracked and then we can just delete all of the null and the grid. So we just have them and now that will save and it will be all adjusted. So now what we can do is we can create a new layer, solid, make a new solid. We can call this element. Okay. And obviously, we can drag on element onto our solid. Now, we can go into the scene setup. Actually, you know what? We first of all, we do, we 
you remember that we made this layer with the blur on for our environment we can go to custom layers texture maps and then select that layer and then we can go into scene setup environment and then there you go we have our custom environment like that now I'm going to use the motion designs pack and where there is actually lots of presets with bro broken glass and they work very well and I'm going to pick a quite long one so small width and long it's going to probably try and match our scene as you can see if we turn on the environment you can see we have our environment and it's reacting nicely to it and we can click OK so now we have our glass in 3D space now it needs a bit of adjusting but we can quite easily do that so we can go to group 1 particle replicator and we can go rotation and we just try and rotate this around so it looks like it's matching these are small adjustments obviously the better you try and make it the better it's going to look so, I'm not going to spend very long on this at all I'm just going to probably leave it there for now and we'll I'm just going to move this up across. Now it's a tad too big at the moment, so we can go a uh, particle look, drop the size down a bit, and just try and position it up so we get like, something that's looking good. Tad across, like so. Probably drop the size down a bit more about eight and maybe just we can get that rotating around ever so slightly like that and that looks pretty good um, it doesn't look like it's fully sort of staying there I probably need to play around with the Z position a bit more Well, I don't think I'm going to worry about it too much. Oh, to be honest, I'm just going to leave it there. I mean, this isn't fully motion track yet. You'd want to maybe mess around with the position a bit. I'm just trying to get everything looking nice, but I'm not going to um, worry about that yet. So what we can do is we can actually, it doesn't really look like glass, so we can maybe lower the opacity to about something like that, yeah, about 50. We can also maybe add some uh, levels. Actually, what I might do is I've got it all motion tracked and set up in um, the actual composition here. Um, so what I will do is I'm just going to delete everything that I've done except one. So basically we have, uh, which one is it? Oh, it's all the way over there. Alright, that was a bad choice to delete. So we will leave that one and delete. So now you can see we've got this window over here. And we I'm just going to uh, go U of this one actually. Delete all the keyframes. And I'll just delete this layer also. Oh, wrong one. I want the one that you can actually sort of see. Um, so we'll delete that one maybe. Okay, all right. So now we can see that sort of motion track. So you just want to mess around and just delete the keyframes quickly. I don't want to spend too much time getting it all right, but basically you may want to try and do that grid. Just get it to stay there. Just work on it. Okay, uh, we go. Um, okay, so yeah, I here I've adjusted the position, and what you can do is then also just grab a null from our camera tracker see what the position of that is and then just position it up with the right position so we know it's staying now you can see that that's looking pretty good and all I've done is I've just dropped the opacity down to about 40% and now from here what we can do is we can keyframe the Z position so we want to make it come out slightly also the X position and X and Y so we can mess around with it uh, maybe the size uh, Mm, actually, no, no, we won't. We won't do the size. Oh, my color scheme is just gone. Um, right, and then what? We, the really important thing is we can go to multi object, and that will be off for you. And you just want to click that. And now this will let us because it's a pre-fractured object already inside of Element. 
obviously you may not have that so what you could do is you could just make a um, cube in Cinema 4D for say and make it more rectangular by scaling it and then just use the Browsy or some other plugin like that or 3ds Max or whatever and fracture it and then you can just go scene setup import and I will be showing you how to do that with text in probably in the next episode so I need to get a bit of a move on okay so what we can then also do is we can do um, we can go to uh, we are in the multi object yep okay so we can go to rotation keyframe random rotation maybe then also uh, the scatter and we can hit U on our layer so we have our keyframes and we can then go forward a bit and what we can do is we can then I think this was a slightly bad example so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna drag this over to another window say this one here like that's that like that and we can go across and we can put up the um, we can then um, go to we can random turn up the random rotation as you can see all the bits start to randomly rotate and we can then scatter them so we get that and then we can just push it forward like so and then slowly drag that back across like that as you can see the window shatters out looking really nice obviously you would want to mask out a pole so you just want to duplicate that layer and do a standard mask but as you can see they shatter out and they stay where they are in the space and then basically all you're just going to want to do once you've had that all set up I mean you can do anything you can change the size you just want to duplicate the layer then you're going to want to go to the group and you can just drag the wind across and now you may want to mess around the scale but as you can see it looks a bit big so we can go to particle look and where is the size not multi object we want um, oh yeah, yeah. where's the size gone? oh there we go I'm blind so we can just turn that down a bit scoop it across and now you want to go forward and as you can see it's gone to the same sort of position so then you're just going to want to scoop that back over to make it look like that window and then you can just add some variation by changing the scatter and the random rotation so it looks natural because I mean with nature everything wants to be natural so by being natural nothing's ever the same it's always different and then if you're not sure about masking out this pole what you can do is you just want to duplicate your um, clip drag it onto the top and just gonna delete the blur of that okay we can hide that for now assume that's gonna be why is that like that did I freeze it oh I see I froze it you don't have to freeze it I just did in this example and basically we can go to about here and we can just get a pen tool zoom in a bit keyframe uh, click it there click it there so we're going down the side of the pole all the way back up to here close that off and now you'll see that it's now in front of the uh, glass and then you're just gonna hit M um, animate the mask path through that like so and just move the mask over every time if you didn't know it's very basic but yeah that's how you do that uh, I'm just going to delete that. So yeah, that is about it for this tutorial. I mean, I'll do one more of these glass pieces. Scoop that over to the next window. Just to scale down. Go to the end. Scoop it across in front of that window. Add some variation. Like that. And we'll just do a quick ramp. And then what you can also do is you can highlight the first keyframes, you can go keyframe assistant, ease them out and you can highlight these ones keyframe assistant and ease them in so we'll just do a quick round preview and the great thing about element is it's so quick to render, I mean I'm doing this in half quality and and also what I like is because it's always rendered out in my sim before you have to do render and you might have like global illumination on and it will take a long time but with this 
super speedy so they all fly out and they just stay there and I think that looks really cool so yeah that is the tutorial guys um, in the second part I will be showing you how to do the text so in an uh, example I'll just get it up here so basically it moves to a different thing come on come on load all right and you can see we have all of these pieces and then they all come together to make some text like so so yeah that's in the next uh, part to it so please drop a like for this tutorial and I hope you enjoyed and I will see you on the next one guys thanks